Well, wait till you hear about this. A yard sale discovery is now a major treasure, valued at up to half a million dollars. Fox 61's Shara Taylor has more on this rare find and how you can check to see if your garage sale antique could be worth a whole lot more. As soon as we saw images of this, we immediately knew it was. Angela McAteer, Senior Vice President and Head of Department for Chinese Ceramics and Work of Arts at Sotheby's in New York, tells us this bowl was purchased at a Connecticut tag sale for just $35. It's estimated to be worth between $300,000 and $500,000. So the bowl itself dates to the early 15th century. Product made during the reign of the Yongle Emperor, who certainly in terms of Chinese, Chinese history is one of the all-time great emperors. Blue and white porcelain production during his reign reached its zenith. The bowl itself was made during these years, so we're looking at between 1402 to 1424 for the early Ming imperial court. McAteer says she is unsure how the bowl drifted west, but a gentleman found the bowl at a yard sale near New Haven last fall. It's completely unknown to us, I'm afraid, and a little bit of a frustrating mystery. Um, how this piece would have journeyed from really the, the one of the courts of the of the early Ming Empire to to a flea market in Connecticut. She says the unnamed buyer is not an artist but has an eye for antiques and knew there was something special about it. So he tried to identify it and then reached out. This is an easy process. Like this is a beautiful piece. It could be worth a lot. How do I find out? Google has a function called Google Image Search, where you basically upload uh, an iPhone shot of whatever you have, and then it compares it to whatever is on Google, whatever similar there is, and it can already help you to identify what you, what you, you have. Then if, if nothing shows up, then you should probably go to an auction. Portrait painter Serge Strasberg studied art in Paris and has painted for over 20 years. His specialty is oils with egg tempera on canvas. He displays and sells his work at studios in Soho in New York and Palm Beach. On several occasions, he's been asked to verify the authenticity of paintings because of his skill. If you think it's worth something, it's better to go to the biggest auction houses. I mean, you can go to Sotheby's or Christie's. These are the biggest auction houses, especially for something like this. But... You know, how would you know, how would you know that this is worth a million dollars if, if you don't know anything about a bowl? He says to do research and the more information you have, the better chance you have of selling it and the piece being accepted because auction houses don't accept everything and some charge. He says have good photographs of the back and sides of the item and a close up of the signature of the artist a copy of where it was bought, and proof of sale. He says he has previously sold paintings with Sotheby's. Sotheby's has a complimentary service to give appraisals and a handy website. Even if it's not an area that you feel that you have depth of knowledge in, um, quality is sort of universal. And if the piece is beautiful and it's well made, then it's very likely of interest and, and a, a value. The bowl will be presented on the international market in their important Chinese art auction on the 17th of March. Proceeds will go to the seller and a commission to Sotheby's. Reporting in Hartford, Shara Taylor, Fox 61 News.